do today We're gonna learn and play okay. Sing a song and pray God really loves us God really, really cares About you, me, our families That's right God's always right there Let me fix my curls You've tuned into Cali's world That's right, boys and girls Welcome to Cali's world Hey friends, so good to be with you again Hanging with you makes me happy And watching us get along makes God happy being with you makes God so, so happy that, well, you should be happy. Speaking of things that make me happy, I saw the coolest movie. It was about a girl and a, ready for this, dragon. But it was a good dragon. In fact, a really good dragon. And the girl and the dragon became good friends. That made me wonder, do you ever wonder... That's like stopping and just thinking about something for a moment. Anyway, it made me wonder what it would be like to have my own pet wild creature. It wouldn't have to even be a dragon. It could be a tiger, or a bear, or a lion. Oh, a lion, the king of the jungle. Whoa, I wonder, could I be a lion's leader? What would it be like to give commands to a lion? Okay, lion, sit. Sit, lion! Okay, lion! Stay! Stay, lion! Lion! Don't eat that! No! Don't eat that! Lion? Okay, maybe. Go ahead and eat the remote. We'll just watch this one channel, I guess. Leading a lion would not be easy. Leading anything or anyone would not be easy. I need to wonder about this more while we check out our Bible story. It's time for today's Bible story. It comes from the book of Exodus, chapter 2. This story is about a guy named Moses. At the time Moses was born, the people of Israel, also known as the Israelites, were treated very poorly in the land of Egypt. The king of Egypt, Pharaoh, made a terrible law that all Israelite baby boys, like Moses, had to be thrown into the Nile River. But Moses' mom was really brave and really smart. She did put Moses in the river, but it was inside a basket. Moses floated right into the arms of the king of Egypt's daughter, and she raised Moses like he was her own son. But Moses always knew where he came from. One day, when Moses had grown up, he saw an Egyptian man hurting an Israelite man. Moses got mad and killed the Egyptian. Because of this, he had to run away to a place called Midian. Many years later, Moses was out watching over some sheep when he saw a bush that was on fire. But it wasn't burning up. There was no smoke and the leaves looked absolutely fine. Moses was surprised to hear God speak from the bush. God told Moses that the people of Israel had been suffering for many years in Egypt and that it was time for them to be rescued. God told Moses to go and free the people. Moses didn't feel like he could do that. It was a big job and he didn't know how to do it. God promised to be with Moses and taught him exactly what he should say to Pharaoh. Even though Moses didn't think he could be a good leader, God showed him the way and God will do the same for us. God teaches us how to lead. Moses did not seem like the right guy to lead, but God taught him how. That was a super big job to do. Can you imagine? He had to lead a whole huge group of people, and he had to take them away from a dude who didn't want to let them go. That would take some serious leader skills. Kind of like leading a lion. Hey, I wonder, if God can teach Moses to lead the Israelites, then maybe God can teach me how to lead a lion. Okay, lion, sit. Now, stay. Good. Now, lion, grab the remote and put on some cartoons. Leading a lion would be fun, but that's just pretend. Sometimes, in real life when I'm with my friends, I do get nervous about leading. I think things like Moses thought. Why would they listen to me? 
Do you ever feel that way? It's okay to feel that way. But we can remember that when it comes time for us to lead, God will teach us how. He can lean on God as God leads us into leading. God teaches us how to lead. That's right. Thanks for learning and growing with me, friends. Bye. Psalm 25, 4. Show me your ways, Lord. Teach me your paths.